Every business making any kind of money is using video to advertise, entertain and sell. In fact, creating videos that sell fast and efficiently has never been so important. And even though video technology has developed, grown and become so much better, one problem still remains. If you want to create a video that converts viewers into sales, it's a slow, tedious process of fiddling with settings, typing in video captions manually, or positioning and repositioning different elements over and over again every time you want to make a change. All this takes a huge amount of time and significantly eats into your profits. Not only that, but if you're not a designer, then you're immediately at a disadvantage because most of these softwares are built for designers. They're overloaded with unnecessary features, difficult to use, and it can take hours upon hours to create and publish ready videos. The fact is, if you want to create a video, you should be able to create that video without having to spend hours learning how to use the software or fighting your way through complicated and unnecessary settings. Well, now you don't have to. Smart Video is a new way of creating videos that's fast, effective, and allows you to pump out high quality videos like it's your own video production studio. In three easy steps, you can now create beautiful, high converting videos ready for Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, publish video stories, Facebook ads, or short promotional videos that grow your business or client's brand. Scale your agency, creating and distributing videos to businesses fast and efficiently. When you're ready to create a video, simply select the style of your video. Whatever your goal is, Smart Video will deliver. Create videos for stories, video ads, or social media updates depending on what you want. Then customize your video. Use filters to bring your video stories to life. Choose from our wide range of video footage, images, and audio files. With Smart Video, you're never short of content to liven up and enhance your videos. Harness the newest AI video technology to instantly burn captions onto your videos without any typing. Perfect for ads or videos you deliver on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube mobile. Wrap your videos with one click, creating Facebook-ready ads that convert into sales. Add professional transitions and high-quality intros and outros ready for your training videos. You can even publish your videos to courses on Coursera or Udemy. Add professional transitions and high-quality intros and outros. Finally, when you're ready, publish your video to your preferred resolution right up to 4K. It's that easy. Even if you don't have a background in video or you've struggled at creating videos in the past, with Smart Video's easy-to-use interface and conversion enhancement features, it practically forces you to create better videos faster than ever before, giving you an edge over your competition and maximizing your ROI on any client projects. For example, let's say you're working with a business and they wanted to create a campaign for social media to promote their upcoming product. They asked you to create 8 to 10 short videos to help them to advertise and build awareness for their product. Video ads to help advertise the upcoming promotion, update videos ready for distributing across social media, and stories to help connect on a more personal level with potential customers. Previously, you'd need to pay an expensive video designer, use multiple software, or spend hours trying to get everything done. But with Smart Video's easy to use interface and automated conversion enhancing technology, it's now faster and easier than ever before to create profitable video campaigns all inside one easy to use software. Go down below now and get access to this one time founder's special offer. Test drive Smart Video today and we look forward to seeing you on the inside. I'm Sam Becker, thanks for listening. See you inside. Hey, it's Sam back here, and today I'd like to give you a quick demonstration of Smart Video. As you already know, Smart Video produces short, effective videos for stories, ads, and promotional updates fast. This gives you an unfair advantage over your competition because while they're fiddling around within other advanced video editors, you'll be producing effective videos fast that are viewer ready and optimized to maximize click through rates and viewer watch time. So, to use Smart Video, first log in to Smart Video. Then select the type of campaign you want to run. Now you can choose from three types of campaigns. Short, powerful video stories that you can use to advertise throughout Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Short, attention-grabbing video ads that capture people's attention within Facebook's newsfeed, Instagram, or at the beginning of your YouTube videos. Or you can create video updates, training videos, or sales videos designed to educate, entertain, or sell. Now, once you've made your selection, the Smart Video Canvas is ready. You can quickly and easily create exactly what you want within our easy-to-use intuitive interface. 
drop in or import media from your mobile, desktop or any video device. Automatically burn captions across your entire video. Add attention grabbing wrappers with text or even animated emojis. Select from a wide range of animated text and image presets and much, much more. To build your video, simply add your videos into our enhanced timeline editor. You can easily cut or adjust the duration of every clip, add intros or outros, transitions, and even overlays over top of your video with text and images in real time. To further enhance your video clips with our conversion features, simply select edit. You can automatically burn your video clips with captions, so anyone watching your video on silent can still watch your video, increasing its effectiveness. Filter your video with enhanced color palettes and create eye-grabbing videos that look amazing. Choose from our wide range of different video wrapper templates. Then add your text and drag in images or other social elements. Now you'll notice engagement in your videos will skyrocket when you apply this enhancement to your videos. When you're ready, you can preview your video. Select from a wide range of publishing formats right up to 4K. So there you have it. What are you waiting for? Make videos the smarter way. Go below and get access to Smart Video today. Hey, it's Sam back here and welcome to this video. Now you'll see I've just logged into the Video Flow software. I want to do this video for JV so you understand how the software works, how it operates. And um, we'll also do a separate video that you'll be able to use on your bonus pages if you want to as well. So basically Video Flow, the reason we created it is we wanted to create a really complete solution that gave um, users the ability to do uh, a lot when it came to videos, a lot easier without a timeline editor, something that's quick um, and easy to understand. So um, that's what we believe we've done. If you click Create Video and you get into your account, you'll see we've preloaded some templates. By the time you log in, you'll probably see many more templates than this. We're just loading templates in at the moment. And uh, you'll be able to select some of these templates. So for example, if you were to select just this one here, um, if you're running a demo, um, reviewing the software, you'll see it'll load up. And um, then we're in the canvas right here. So the canvas itself um, is a little bit similar to other softwares you've probably seen. The main primary part of it is actually this um, preview bar here. So you'll see here that as we move this bar, uh, the content changes within the video itself. And this bar allows you to decide on how long a particular clip is. So you can adjust the duration of a clip or how, um, and it'll show you how, 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 how long in total the video duration is as well. Now this works in sync with this clip system. So instead of using a timeline, we use separate clips. So if you wanted to say add a new scene to a video, uh, you might have say three or four scenes to your video. You would add one scene here, which might be 10 seconds long for example. Then you would add another scene here, or you could actually duplicate that last scene if you wanted to. Then you'll see here we automatically have welcome um, that is on this new scene. The new scene itself is five seconds long, and you can preview the scene by clicking preview scene. So you've got now two scenes with our video, the first one and the second. Now you might wonder why this um, rendering icon shows up. Basically so we can save time on rendering at the end of the video, we render the video while we're actually editing it. So it's done very quickly, It's you know you don't really notice it, uh, but it means that we're able to render videos a lot faster as a result of doing that. So you'll see here as well that we have a layers system that will work as well um, with this um, system here of editing. So um, each text, piece of text, uh, each video is a separate element within this layering system here. To select one of the elements that you want to edit, you can scroll through them. So you can actually select and you'll see here that I'm selecting. And if you want to actually go to the element and start editing it, you can double click and it'll come up with that element settings. Or if you wanted to, you could go inside of the video to the place where that element is, and you can then select that element. Now, if you wanted to edit that element, you would just select it, and then you could then retype it. If you wanted to downsize it, for example, you could make the size of it smaller. If you wanted to change the font of it, again, you can change the font of it, you can change where it is. And you'll see here that it's um, this element shows from four seconds until six seconds. So um, that's how you determine when an element will be available and when it'll leave. So if I was to put my pin outside of this section, you'll see the text has disappeared. Inside of it, the text has appeared. You can also do fade in, fade out effects with the text itself. And on your new scene, for example, 
If you wanted to, before your new scene comes in, you can cho choose from a range of different transitions. So you can choose open transitions, um, closed wrappers, transitions, all sorts of different transitions here that will be featured uh, as this, uh, this clip goes into the next one. Now if we were to start this new clip, for example, and we wanted to make this a new scene, let's say for example that this is a, um, a video to introduce a photographer. All right, so we're introducing a photographer, it's got a cool wee effect. Uh, we can actually preview this scene right now so I can show you what the scene looks like. It's rendering it now and um, now it's going to actually preview the scene. So this is what the scene looks like and uh, this guy is really into his photography, John Doe. You'll see my text is kind of weird because I resized it and then um, then we continue walking. I could then adjust my text, I can move it within that object and make sure it's fixed. Um, what I'll do is I'll go to my new scene now so we know it's about photography and what we're going to do is we're going to showcase some of um, you know what, uh, what the photography is that we've done. So uh, let's go and do that. So select my new scene uh, and I might say for example um, my port, whoops, my portfolio. So I'll put that in the center there. And that's going to run for, it's got here one, um, one second, but I want it to run for more, obviously, so I'll run this scene for three seconds. So this particular scene will run for three seconds. I'll do a fade out effect um, to this text, so it'll last for 0 0.2 seconds. And um, I'll also put on a background um, here as well. So I might actually put on some sort of shape element, uh, and um, we'll just go like this here. And now you'll see that the shape element is over the text, so I go over to my layers, I drag the shape underneath the text, I can now select the text here, and I can change the color of the text so I make sure that it shows up well on this um, white background. So what we have now is we have our first scene, we have a transition that takes place, which is the closed wrap, and then we have our my portfolio being introduced, and um, then from there I might then create another scene which actually is going to showcase some of the, the portfolio of this particular person. I'm going to delete this text, so I've got a blank canvas, it's one second long right now by, automa uh, by on automatic, um, and then I've got my other footage here. Now if I want to take more footage, I can just take more footage from the stock video footage that we have available here, I can scan through all of this, find the one that's going to be good for me. Uh, alternatively I can do that with my image footage as well, um, uh, or alternatively if I wanted to I could record my own footage, um, upload my own footage into here if I wanted to as well. Um, for this particular case I'll take some of the footage we have here, so I might just say that you know um, John has done this footage here, so we're going to scale this, this is going to come in, and then I might add like a label to it, um, so I might just uh, go like this. We could resize this if we wanted to. In this particular case, that doesn't look very good, so I'm just going to delete that. Um, we could put in, we'll put in a square. Cool. We'll make this last for just a few seconds. The video clip itself, if we wanted to um, resize that length, it's 11 seconds right now, we can do that by resizing it. We could choose to crop it, we could choose to trim it. I'll trim the video so it's not 11 seconds, because we don't need it to be 11 seconds for this scene. We'll just do 5 seconds, for example. Um, I can preview that trimmed version if I wanted to. I can adjust the speed of it so it speeds up. But I'll just save this and the video is going to be trimmed. So you can see here, it's really straightforward. Um, and then we've trimmed our, trimmed our video, so it only shows for 5 seconds now which means that my clip length can be decreased down to 5 seconds, so now my clip length is 5 seconds. I've got my um, background here, I'm going to add some opacity to that background, and then I'll add some text to showcase that this particular, um, this particular uh, part of my portfolio. So I might say uh, Northern Lights. I can drag this in, Northern Lights, resize this layer here to go beyond it. There we are. Resize this back here as well, and there we go. So now that's going to come in, that text is going to come in, it will last for 5 seconds, and um, the back element will also last for 5 seconds, so they both are going to come in at the same time. To make that enlarge, I just drag this here, and then it's going to come in and say Northern Lights. Um, I'm also going to adjust these fade in, fade out, so it comes in for after about 2 seconds. This comes in after about 0 0.2 seconds as well. Um, I select the background as well, same effect, 0 0.2, 0 
and uh, there we go. So we're starting to build out a video and you can see how the clip system kind of works. We would then showcase other footage maybe in this video, show like three different clients and then we'd have the person's John Doe's um, contact details at the end. You can also pick up clips and you can drag them around. So if you don't like the order, you can actually just pick it up and just drag it um, and it'll it'll reposition it. Uh, and there's a lot of other features that I haven't gone into as well, which is the emojis, you know, animated emojis as well. We've got the ability to drag in animated emojis. These are really cool because they'll just play um, in the background. Let's just grab one of those because it's not like this is a, um, you know, a video we're going to use necessarily. So we'll just um, go in and grab, grab some of these. Um, so we might just go like this, you know, pretty cool. Check this out, uh, and we'll put that in there. And we can see on the timer, again, it's for five seconds. It's coming in for five seconds, so it's going to be there from the very beginning. If we wanted to adjust when this fades in and fades out, we could do that if we wanted to. Uh, or if we wanted to, um, we could actually have this coming in after start. So we, if we were to do that, the clip's five seconds long. So we could just have this come in for a few seconds. And uh, you'll see now that it's within the clip, within the time, in the blue, and it's outside of the clip. Now, as we've been creating this um, here, you'll see the animated or the layers are here. What's on top is up the top, what's on the bottom is at the bottom, and uh, so on. So, we've got our um, three clips now in place. Uh, we've added our animated emojis. You could choose from a range of icons if you wanted to, we won't do that. And then when you're ready, you just click um, save and close, or you can actually click publish now. The other way you can do this is you can click preview video. So if you wanted to preview the whole video before you actually go ahead and uh, do anything else, you can actually go ahead and do that right now like I'm doing here. Here you go, we're previewing the first scene. It's now switching us on to the second scene. Uh, the transition itself um, will be slightly different uh, than it will be in the final video here because we don't render the transition in that time. My portfolio, boom, we've got Northern Lights and then we have our animated emoji coming in there as well. So uh, that's a little bit of um, how this will look. Once we render it out now, it won't take too long to render it out, but it's gonna look um, really good. And that's what this basically is. It's a, a video system that allows you to create scenes really easily, removes the need for timeline editing, and uh, it's a kind of an innovative way of being able to create really great looking videos for all different types of purposes. Cool, I hope this has um, clarified how to use this software, how the system itself works. There's a lot more in this, um, but I wanted to just give you a basic overview so you can get uh, your reviews done. And um, there's also the audio effects you can actually record in here. You can use text-to-speech, and you can also select music if you wanted to, um, to use within your, your entire video as well, which is uh, available here. Cool. Uh, all right, thanks for listening. This is Sam, and I uh, hope you um, enjoy the software. Let us know if you have any questions about it. And uh, cool, I will talk to you again soon. See you later.